good times and in bad times. So like Kishore, I celebrate the renaissance of New York City. What you and your team has accomplished is an inspiration to the world. My question to you is, what are the three most important lessons that New York City success can be shared with cities in Asia? I think number one, New York's um, advantage over other American cities is the diversification of our population. 40% of the people that live in New York City were born outside of America. The last police class of 1,500 cops that I swore in, the cops came from 48 different countries. Not their parents, they came from them. And that helps you with tourism, it helps you with new ideas, it helps you with hotelling. Number two, you have to keep the crime rate down. Nobody, everybody wants low crime rate, nobody wants to uh, do what's necessary to get guns off the streets, which are a scourge in America. You don't have that here, but that's a very big deal. Uh, you have to go out and you have to really work hard uh, to keep crime down. If you don't have crime down, people won't come, they won't give you a tax base, they won't build, they won't invest, and that sort of thing. So that's the second thing. And then thirdly, you've got to think long term and make investments. And Singapore is as good an example of that as any, I know, uh, New York City, the politics are different, but that just, it's a different challenge. Politics here are complex as well. Everybody fundamentally wants something and they want somebody else to pay for it. And that's not a sustainable model. And it requires leadership standing up and saying, you know, he elected me, this is what we're gonna do, and not take a referendum on every single thing. I think the Singapore government sympathizes with your point about social media. <laughs> They're having the same daily referendums in Singapore. <laughs> Next question. I see a lady. Please, can you please uh, stand up, identify yourself? Uh, question. 